All right, hello YouTube. We're doing another episode of Stoner News. Um, I did say I was going to try and bring this series back because um, any OGs to the channel will remember that I used to do this episode like every other day, if not get one up every day. And I kind of forgot about the series. But talking about the news is weirdly like I enjoyed doing, so... That's what we're doing in this video, and we've got a nice bit of news to talk. I mean, it's not nice. That was weird, a weird thing to say. But I've just run to the shops, had to get some essential shopping, had to get some cocklet. So I'm ready for bed. It's Sunday. I've got work again tomorrow. I had a four-day weekend this week. I can't remember the last time I had a four-day weekend. Um, so I'm not going to complain. But anyway. It's it's a bit of a madness. I need to get sort this sideburn out, so two secs. Alright, we got that sorted. So today we're gonna to be talking about the murder of Sarah. And I can't remember her surname, so that's why I'm not gonna say it. But if I did remember her surname, I would tell you. Um she was murdered uh by a police officer, um off duty. He wasn't on duty. But off duty or on duty, that should not be happening. I just hit my leg with my joint and I kind of fucked it up a little. I fucked up the jerry. But yeah, she was killed by an off duty copper. Um, he hid her body parts in a sports bag, uh, which is a bit nasty. Uh, a bit peaked to whether I found that. Um, surely you would have put a bit more thought into that. You would have thought if you were a copper, you would have thought he would have been like on it with places to put fucking bodies and shit. You would have thought he would like known the known the tricks of the trade, you could say. But um, he clearly did not. Um, bit random, but I've heard the best way to get rid of a body is by using pigs, starve pigs for a couple of days. And then you feed the body to pigs. They got like really strong jaws or like really strong digestive systems or something like that. You have to pull the teeth out though. Don't ask me why I know that because that is, uh, it's definitely something I wouldn't be doing. Um, hopefully you can see I'm not the, the murdering type. But uh, it really puts into perspective the type of people that we have working on the police force. I'm not saying any coppers in particular, obviously. Uh, like you know, I've been pulled over like seven, eight times. Uh, other than getting drug tested, I've never really had a bad copper. And even then, at the end of the day, matey boy's doing his job. The car did stink of weed and it had a half ounce in him. I don't blame him for drug testing me. He has to do what he's doing, especially when there's like eight other coppers around him. He can't just be like, oh, I'm gonna let this one go. But at the end of the day, if they're not doing their job properly, they're not doing their job properly. I was about to say you need to, they need to take more time in the people they're hiring, but that's not the case because any you could hire someone who looks like a normal person and a couple years down the line turns a bit mental and decides, fuck it, I want to kill someone. But obviously when you're like, when you're hiring people for that position, you're, you're not going to be expecting that kind of action from your member of staff. But there should have been some red flags. There's someone, he should, he should have said something that someone should have flagged, not flagged up, but like, he should have said something that caught someone's attention. Like, you don't just go out and kill someone randomly. So he must have had some problems with him. Um, that car just made me jump really bad. I ain't gonna be able to get this fucking lit again now. There we go. I had to talk to my guy. He's got a uh, Sayat, fuck it, not a Sayat, uh, Ford Focus ST. And it's fucking sick. It is well loud. He lives a couple doors down from me. He's quite nice, to be honest. Um, I am going to watch that video back. <laughs> see if I can see the point. I did get scared by that car. Um, this food. Uh, I got some different Star Dog, but it is still Star Dog. It fucking hurts your throat, man. I feel like that is the one problem with Stardog. It is a bit harsh most of the time, but 
getting back to this woman like i said it's it's just a bit of a madness it's not what you expect obviously she didn't know he was a copper because he was off duty he's not walking around with his fucking gear on and shit but he's the person that's supposed to be keeping everyone safe not doing shit like that um i did see in the news that um i think it was green party wanted to add a 6 p.m curfew only for men and i'm gonna sound like a bit of a prick saying this but instead of just having a 6 p.m curfew for men why don't you have a 6 p.m curfew for everyone How, why would you have rules for one set of people but not the other um because even if there's no men at six out at 6 p.m you might not you might as well not be out at 6 p.m but i can't see them passing that law to be honest because when I say it's silly, I don't mean it's silly as in it's silly. I mean, it's quite, that is a bit silly. Like, you have to be a bit realistic. You can't just whack a curfew down and it works for everyone. Um, but to round this video off, it's fucking mental. That is silly. That shouldn't be happening. Um, sorry if you watch this video and you don't smoke weed and you wanted to know about news and you've watched to the end and I've disappointed you. I'm sorry. Um, subscribe if you're new on the road to 4,000 subscribers, not far off now. Uh, that's all I really have to say. I'm gonna go home, make dinner and chill. That's it, that's my fucking Sunday. I've got work tomorrow. <sighs> I gotta work the whole week, but I'm 21 now, come on, big up. I'll see you in the next video.